Hey traders, it's John Fortune here with this week's weekly Forex forecast for the 13th of November to the 17th of November 2017. I hope you're all currently having a nice weekend. What we're going to do here today is we're going to start off as always looking at the US dollar index and oil and then we're going to look at a number of currency pairs and we're going to be looking at the key levels of support and resistance in the process of doing this and we're also going to be highlighting some of the targets that we're looking for in those pairs and in those markets in the coming week in next week and also in weeks after that so let's jump over to the charts and see where the money is this week so as always we're going to start with the US dollar index here and we're on the daily chart and the first thing to notice of course in the US dollar index is that we are still trading to the upside in the bigger picture here after this inverse head and shoulders break to the upside and we are expecting further advances in the dollar. However, you can see here that for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way back here to the 27th, it's about 11 days, about two trading weeks here. We have just been moving in a range here. We've done nothing really. And this has resulted not just in a lack of volatility for the dollar, but there has been a lack of volatility across the board in the markets, as you've probably seen over the last two weeks. So looking at price action last week, we can see the US dollar index actually pulled back down towards broken resistance, key resistance over here, looking to test this area of support at the 94.03. We also have a confluence area down here with this upward slope in trend line denoted from these lows over here. So we do stand a good chance now of seeing this continuation come into the market next week as we are trending to the upside here in the daily and we also have a sideways move which is a continuation pattern to the upside. The high probability move in the dollar index is to the upside and therefore we will be looking at further advances next week in the dollar. And we'll be looking first for up to the target that we've had highlighted here at the 95.270. And if we can get a break through here, and it has to be a clean break, not just a just a wick like this, but if we can get a clean break through here, uh, we'll be looking for some correction before looking up to the second target up here at the 96.695. But this is a longer term target because this is a daily chart here, uh, as I mentioned earlier. Next, we're going to have a look at oil. Now, last week we got a push up and we traded into the target set here that we had last week. And as you can see, we pushed through this target that we had from last week and we started to uh, accumulate and range and correct in this kind of fashion like this. And we currently sit uh, at the previous uh, target from last week and this key area of support and resistance. So you can see we had a break of resistance and we now have this uh, holding as support. So as long as we maintain ourselves above this new support area uh, from previous resistance turning support, we're going to be looking for bullish formations and patterns to appear and we're going to be looking up towards the second target which we had from last week at the 58.79 in oil. So the first pair we're going to look at is the euro dollar. Now last week we had price finding resistance over here at the 1.16720 and we had a sell off and we said we were looking for a correction to take place. You see it started to push down a little bit more before we started to see a correction coming in and we actually got a retest of previous resistance over here at the 1.16720. Now as we start next week beneath the resistance area over here and this resistance area had still held we are going to be looking for bearish formations and patterns to form in this area and we're going to be looking at taking those bearish formations and patterns short down towards the target that we had highlighted from last week at the 1.14932 now if this resistance area fails we will be looking for a potential test of the next resistance area to the upside at the 1.17225 but we're not here to try and predict the future. So as long as we stay below here, which is where we're starting the week, our bias is to the downside looking for bearish formations and patterns. The next pair we're going to look at is the pound US dollar. Now last week we were looking for shorts from the 1.3155 because we were looking for a continuation in the uptrend in the dollar and we were looking for some weakness to come off the back of the pound from this key area of resistance down towards the targets that we had highlighted uh, over here. But unfortunately, last week we had that uh, 
continued consolidation in the dollar. So what we actually saw was a break back above this key air resistance, the 1.3155. And this range, this big range, which the pound US dollar is in uh, and has been in now for a number of weeks, I mean, just going sideways, uh, it actually held. Now, we are looking for a break to the downside uh, in the end and for this to resolve itself to the downside. Why? Because uh, it came into this range to the downside. And also we have the US dollar index in an overall uptrend. So as long as that US dollar index stays in an uptrend, we're looking for this to resolve itself for the downside. So going into next week, we are looking at a possible retest at the top of the range over here at the 1.32696. And there may even be uh, this kind of move if we get previous resistance turning support up towards the top of the range. But because of the uptrend in US dollar index, our preference is for shorts from this key air resistance at the top of the range. And we're going to be looking at taking those shorts, first of all, down to the uh, the equilibrium point of the range here, the median point, but then overall down towards the targets that we have highlighted here, especially if we start to see the US dollar break into the upside we should see this breaking finally to the downside, resolving itself to the downside. And we have two targets still down here at the 1.30342 and the 1.29799 in the pound US dollar. So the next pair we're going to look at is the US dollar Japanese yen. Now, last week we were sitting in this area here and we were looking first of all for a trade up towards the target at the 114.487. And as you can see, we did trade into this target and we actually sold off from this key air resistance and we pushed to the downside. And we actually came all the way back down to test previous support level that we had over here at the 113.186. So going into next week, we have the US dollar Japanese yen in this kind of a range here and we're sitting at the range bottom so this is going to be a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns and we're going to be looking at taking those bullish formations and patterns up to the top of the range and the target of the 114.487 and if we get a break through this area and not like this this is just a test but if we get a break through this area we will be looking to take a secondary trade and we'll be looking up towards the 115.485 it's the next key air resistance and target to to the upside in the US dollar Japanese yen so the next pair we're going to look at is the Aussie US dollar now, ever since we broke down below key support over here at the 0 0.77482, we've been looking at further declines in the Aussie dollar to the downside. And the first shorts we were looking at was over in this area. And we had this sell off going into last week and we said we wanted to see a pullback and a correction uh, in order to either uh, get involved with this pair for anybody who wasn't involved or possibly even add a second position for anybody uh, who was involved from over the top over here. Now you can see we did get that correction but we still did not get the push to the downside that we wanted to see in the Aussie US dollar and this was again because of the continued sideways move in the dollar index. However going into next week we are looking for the dollar to potentially resolve itself to the upside next week so we should see further declines in the Aussie US dollar and we'll be looking down towards the targets that we had uh, for the last two weeks here the 0 0.76156 and also if we get a breakthrough there to the next key area of support to the downside at the 0 0.75817. The next pair we're going to look at is the New Zealand US dollar. Now, last week we were looking for a pullback, having tested the key area resistance over here at the 0 0.69530. And we were even looking for a possible retest of this key area resistance at the 0 0.69530. And we did get this correction. We did get a retest of the key area resistance over here. However, we did not get the follow through to the downside from this key area resistance because of the sideways move uh, in the dollar index. So, we go into this week sitting below key area resistance over here and as a result we are going to be looking for bearish formations and patterns and we're going to be looking at taking those patterns short down towards the first key area of support down here the 0 0.68640 and if we get a breakthrough here we're going to be looking for this kind of double bottom setup down here and the next key area of support to the downside and target two at the 0 0.68217. So the next pair we're going to look at is the US dollar franc. Now, since we broke above key air resistance turning support over here at 0 0.98783, we've been looking for further advances up towards the two targets that we have over here. 
Now, the US dollar index has pretty much gone sideways, as has the US dollar franc over the last two weeks. So there's two places that we will be looking to take long positions from in the US dollar franc going into next week if we get the right kind of formation setting up. And the prime area would be down here in a pullback and a retest of key support at the 0 0.98783. This would be a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns to take longs up towards the targets that we have highlighted. But just bear in mind, we are also sitting at the bottom of this kind of intermediary range over here. So this would be a second great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And if we get those bullish formations and patterns in either place, we're going to be looking up towards the target. First of all, at the 1.00774. And if we get a breakthrough here, a clean breakthrough here, we're going to be looking up towards the next key area resistance, the upside at the 1.01653. The next pair we're going to look at is the Euro New Zealand. Now, last week we bounced from key area support on the Euro New Zealand at the 1.66413. And as you can see, if we actually drew a trend line in here, you can see we actually had a breakout of this trend line like this. It's kind of downward sloping channel. It's kind of downward sloping trend line here. And so if we get a pullback into this area, possibly even a retest of this downward sloping trend line uh, would be denoted by these highs over here then we will be looking for bullish formations and patterns and this is going to be a great place to look for those bullish formations and patterns looking to take long positions up towards the first target of the 1.69560 and if we get a breakthrough here we're going to be looking for a secondary target to the upside and as you can see a kind of double top over here at the 1.72077 and last but not least we're going to have a look at Aussie CAD now, Aussie CAD was forming this bearish pattern, this sideways move over here from last week. And we actually got a break. It formed this pattern, in fact, on this key area of support over here, the 0 0.97627. So we go into next week looking for further declines in the Aussie CAD. And if we get a pullback and a correction and possibly even a retest of broken support turning resistance over here, this is going to provide a fantastic place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns. And if we get those bearish formations and patterns in this area, we're going to be looking at taking shorts down towards the target and the next key area of support to the downside at the 0 0.96445. So that's it from me for this week, guys. As always, I hope you enjoyed this week's video. And if you did, please let me know by liking, sharing and subscribing. Thank you again to all of you who do that on a regular basis and those of you who have subscribed already. So I hope you all enjoy the rest of your weekend. I hope you'll have a great week next week. Take care and don't forget to trade safely.